Right now, police in Akron are still searching for a man in connection to a series of robberies. Three others are now in custody. Kristen Severance with the Ohio News Network joins us right now. Chris, these guys frightened a lot of people. They did, Leon. Police say they scared a lot of people over a three-day crime spree in Akron. But they did not scare the man I sat down with today. They just made him mad. Eloyd Simmons doesn't know the four men who broke into his home at the end of December, but if he did... I would have killed them all. Now, that's just the way I feel. The 82-year-old wasn't home that night. He was at Bible study. He says the men came in through a back window. The first thing he noticed missing, his 38 caliber pistol. I said, they got my gun. Then I thought about my shotgun in the closet. I went into the closet and said, he got my shotgun. A pair of cufflinks and three watches were also taken. One piece of jewelry meant the most, an engraved watch, a parting gift from the bakery where he worked for decades. For 50 years. I set a record. Losing the watch hurt a little more that day because Simmons had just lost something you can't replace. His 51 year old son died in an accident in New Jersey. I buried my son that Saturday and it broke in my house that Tuesday night. That's what hurted me so because I'm still in grieving of my son. Simmons is now worried he'll be grieving for someone else. Akron police say the men who broke into his home robbed and kidnapped another woman and were responsible for two other home invasions. Three men have been arrested. One man is still out there. They might rob somebody, might kill somebody with my guns, and that would really hurt. Me. He never used those guns, by the way. They were never fired even once. But on that December day, he would not have hesitated for a second. Now, when police arrested three of the suspects, they were able to recover some of the stolen property, including Simmons' special retirement watch. Again, one man is still out there, 21-year-old Amico Smith. If you know anything, call the Akron Police Department. Live in the newsroom tonight, I'm Kristen Severance, The Ohio News Network.